Today's Project Diary video, we hit an incredible milestone of 400,000 subscribers, plus I'll be explaining some future plans for this year. Hi and welcome to Project Diaries and the first video of the year! Let's hope this year is going to be better than the last. Fingers crossed anyway. So before I get into today's video, I'm still doing this test for shadow banning. If you don't know what that means, the video is here. So please watch this video all the way through. Give it a like and a comment if you can below and subscribe. There's lots of people saying they've been unsubscribed for some reason, so double check the button down there. Uh, but anyway, today's video, what we're gonna talk about? Well, firstly, when I woke up this morning, I hit a hot, no, 400,000 subscribers. 400,000! unbelievable amount I, I I can't thank you lot enough so much like some of you have been here since the beginning some of you have just started hello to newbies how are you all doing I, I can't believe what this channel's done for me personally in my own journey it's been absolutely incredible so this year what am I gonna do well it's been a bit tricky I've had a rough winter we're not gonna go into that just yet but uh, I've managed to get hold of loads of seeds so today I think I'm just going to discuss what I'm going to do. It's completely unscripted. I had no idea I was going to hit 400,000. So I just thought I'd do a cheeky little video today to let you know I'm still alive and alive and kicking. So I've managed to get loads of seeds from... What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of the cheapest seeds available. Um, and I'm also going to grow things for the first time. I've done lots of videos. Pretty much all of my videos in the past were me growing them for the first time and having great results. And I feel because of that year out of me being ill... I've got a bit rusty on some of my skills, so I'm going to try and go back, get those dopamine levels back up again, and we're going to try and grow some new stuff. So the seeds that I've managed to get, obviously I've done carrots, courgettes, uh, I don't think I've done the beetroot video yet, so I've got various different beetroots. I did grow gold beetroot a couple of years ago, and they were incredible, so sweet and tasty. So I've got some of those. I've had lots of people ask me to do uh, onion videos, so I've got green onions, uh, shallots, spring onions. Uh, and some radishes. Now I'm not partial to radishes myself, but I'm going to do that video anyway. Uh, I've also got loads of dahlias. Now people, uh, well, hopefully people know that dahlias are my favourite flower of all time. I've done a lot of video on dahlias, so check those out. So I've got loads of various seeds there. Can't wait to grow those. Uh, and again, like I've got beetroot, loads of mixed different beetroots here, different colours. Now a lot of these need to be sown sort of this month. Um, so. Always check the back, uh, back of the seed packets to see when you need to sow them. Um, I've had lots of people say, why don't I say what season they need to be grown in? But because this channel is global, uh, different countries have different, um, different heats and different uh, growing periods. So um, always check on the back of the seed packet or do some research yourself. Now I've got these beautiful cauliflowers. Look at that. Can't wait to grow these. I've never grown cauliflower before, so I've got two different types there. Um, and again, these are the cheapest ones. Some of these packets were uh, 29p, so I can't wait to see if these germinate and how well these do. Obviously, I've been um, harvesting lots of seeds from food waste and kitchen scraps and stuff, so it'd be nice to do some seed videos as well. I can't wait. Uh, I've got rainbow chard as well. Look at the colours on them. They look absolutely incredible. I'm not endorsed by any of these companies, by the way, so you're not bound to uh, copy me with the seeds, but I love these. Also, getting some uh, rainbow Rainbow colours in my diet with some rainbow carrots. I can't wait for those. I've also done runner beans and various other beans, but these ones I've got uh, dwarf French beans. So I'm really looking forward to these. Some of the uh, string beans uh, and the runner beans, I ended up having to leave them on uh, on the vine a little bit too long because I was ill, I wasn't able to harvest them. So a lot of them got a little bit stringy. So hopefully I'll have a bit more success with the French beans this year. I'm going for some golden courgettes as well can't wait for those and my mum's favorites are uh, Br Brussels sprouts she, <laughs> it was always tricky for me to eat these over the winter periods but when you get them really young a lot of the stores have the really old kind of bittery not really nice taste but if you can pick them young they're absolutely fantastic so I'm growing these for my mum this year I've also uh, spoke about it a couple of times in my other videos about kohlrabi now I'm really interested in this vegetable and now is perf the perfect time to sow these indoors in England. So I'm going to try and do this over the next few weeks to, to, to sow a lot of these indoors um, because the weather's changing. I mean yesterday it was great, I was in the garden, I mean it was beautiful sunshine in a t-shirt. managed to uh, plant a new Victoria plum tree, I've done some um, trim back of the um, elderflower bushes and uh, loads and loads of stuff. 
Um, but I've also got these packets as well. So I've got some leeks, some cabbage, and I'm a huge fan of the long stem broccoli. So I've, I'm definitely gonna grow a lot of these this year. Um, and then basically, a lot of people didn't get the memo, especially people that are new to my channel. Um, if you don't know, that I was really ill last year and have been, um, my, my illness has been getting worse over the past few years. So I was unable to finish a lot of videos last year. So this year is also gonna have lots and lots of videos from sort of 2007, 2000, and, no, 2017, 2018. So I can try and keep up if I'm, if I'm unable to get in the garden as much as I, as I have been. Like I say, I'm still struggling. Uh, I'm on morphine still because of my back pain and things. So I'm, I'm taking quite a few days off and I'm, I'm taking my time this year. So if I'm not as upbeat as I usually am, it's probably because I'm in a lot of pain, but I'm still gonna try and do my best. So let's really, re really push forward to try and get this year's growing season amazing because I really feel like I missed a lot of harvest last year. And if you hadn't seen this video, I basically taught myself uh, how to walk again. I was on crutches for nearly 18 months. So basically everything had died. So it was really hard for me to kind of maintain the garden while I was ill, but that means I've got now, a, you know, the positive side of that is now I've got a blank canvas to do whatever I want and grow whatever I want. Obviously there's gonna be some perennial flowers like the dahlias, I can't remember some other stuff that's there, uh, the nasturtiums, um, I can't even remember what's in the garden, it's been so long, I just can't wait to get my hands dirty and you know, dig some holes, put some seeds in. <laughs> so, uh, lots of things going on, so I'm just going to do a quick cut because I've also got a bit of fan art, my very first fan art, I can't wait, so there's a quick cut here, hang on. So check these out, now these are, uh, uh, oh, I. I'm absolutely speechless by the beauty of these. I really think you've captured Grandad's um, personality well. And uh, yeah, this is from uh, Jean McCormack. She she beautifully done these for me. Amazing, amazing portraits of Grandad. These are just absolutely perfect. You, you've got his smile and his cheekiness absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to get these in frames and put them on the wall. I'm just gonna put these down and uh, look after these. So thank you so much for those. I absolutely, it's really heartwarming the amount of positivity, the lovely messages I've been getting from people and the fan art, it's been so fantastic. I also found out today that I've now got a, one of my youngest subscribers is nine months old. Uh, I've been trying to get hold of what her name was, but how you doing? <laughs> you all right? <laughs> Apparently she talks to me through the TV. Uh, so it's just amazing to know that I'm, I'm really sort of reaching out to, to the younger generation and people of all ages. So we're gonna try and stay positive. I've had to say uh, no to quite a lot of jobs. Uh, last year, I don't know if you saw when I was on uh, Good Morning Britain and I was doing lots of work with the BBC, ITV and loads of people were, I was kind of hot off the press and the garlic guy last year, which was absolutely incredible. Uh, but I have, because of my illness, I've had to turn down some TV spots. I was offered, uh, I was offered a 10 piece uh, gardening special, um, which, Kind of broke my heart to say no to, but I wasn't in any fit state. And like I say, winter's been really strong, uh, really been hard for me this year. I've had to double up on vitamin D supplements because I've not been able to get outside. And a lot of people don't know that you need vitamin D to absorb calcium for your bones. So the winter months really affect my back and my joints and my arthritis. But you know, spring's right around the corner, summer's even closer. You know, there's really hope that, that the summer is really going to be the best thing for me. It's going to give me that vitality and that tenacity that I usually have. So I just thought I'd reach out today, say thank you to everybody, 400,000 subs. Let's keep going, see if we can get to a million. Anyway, good luck gardening everyone and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. If you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future videos, you can click the subscribe button here. Here are some links to some of my regular gardening videos. And don't forget to join the Facebook gardening group where thousands of people are sharing photos and ideas daily. Thanks for watching and I really hope I can return with more gardening videos soon. Take care.